Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, and welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, I hope all is well with you all and hope that you've had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And um, this next story I want to talk about is something that's relatively common in a lot of families. And sometimes it can be extremely difficult when your parents are public figures or in the public eye. Um and they get divorced, you know, or they're contemplating divorce or, you know, things of that nature. It, it affects the offspring, be it adults or the children. Uh, so this story, like I said, it kind of reminds me of um, couples that have been together a long time. So I definitely want to respect their privacy, but at the same time as a private I mean, as a public couple and public figures, and, you know, it's just I want to bring this to you. And then I want to explore some of the reasons why people may get divorced after they've been together for such a long time. You know, a lot of times people don't think about it. They automatically say, oh, somebody was cheating or somebody, you know, was doing so-and-so and so-and-so. And it's never an issue sometimes that they even think about. Maybe they just got tired of each other. Or maybe their relationship has evolved for like a brother and a sister. Especially when you've known somebody over half of your life and y'all got together as teenagers. And, you know, start having children young and um, watched your life, you know, pretty much be connected to a person. And you've never had a chance to pursue things on your own the way you would like to without the presence sometimes of a mate. You know, uh, sometimes you just want to be by yourself. And uh, marriage, after a long period of time, even relationships sometimes, if they're not allowed to be free and have the freedom that they need, they can be kind of taxing on individuals. So I'm not saying I know what happened in this situation. I definitely don't know. But what I do know is what they're reporting. And it's interesting because um, there was a, I was going to uh, bring a story up about Sonia Curry um, and her uh, experience with racism, you know, being that a lot of people think that she's not a black woman and she hasn't experienced normal uh, obstacles that black women experience. I just thought her story is so resilient and I was very proud of her tenacity and I'm um, actually the, uh, the spirit and manner of her life and how she lived it and how she is living it, continuing to live it. So that's what originally, this is funny, the story came out that I was going to do um, and then it ended up taking a different turn. So I'm just going to finish it and I just want to report that Warrior Star um, Stephen Curry parents are splitting up as Curry's mother, Sonia Curry has um, reportedly filed for divorce from her husband, Dale. Uh, the, the Curry couple confirmed the news Monday to People Magazine after TMZ first reported on the split. <laughs> after TMZ reported on the split. Because, you know, um, they just want the tea. Um, and so, um, I guess, after exploring the trial separation over the past year and much thoughtful consideration, we have decided to end our marriage. As this time, as this comes with a great deal of sadness, our focus and desire is for our family's continued happiness 
Sonia and Dill told the magazine. We are so thankful for all the many blessings and success. We stay committed to and supportive of our children and grandchildren and remain um, connected on connected paths. We ask that our privacy be respected and prayer for our family as we move forward. The paperwork was filed in June and the divorce proceedings are ongoing, according to the report. That cites North Carolina. Um, you know, it's ongoing, and that's what cites, I guess, according to uh, North Carolina records. Um, details about why Sonia and Dale fifty Sonia's fifty five and Dale was fifty seven are splitting up are unclear. The two first met as students, athletes at Virginia Tech. They was babies and were married in 1988, shortly after Dale was drafted to the NBA in 1986. He went on to play until 2002 and made a name for himself as a skilled shooter with the Jazz, Cavaliers, Hornets, Bucks, and Raptors. Sonya was a volleyball star at Virginia Tech. The couple's first child, Wardell Stephen Jr., born in 1988. Uh, Seth Curry, he cu currently plays for the Philadelphia 76ers, born in 1990. And their daughter, Sedell, was born in 1994. Uh, over the years, the Currys have been visible parents to Steph and Seth, um, Stephen and Seth's uh, often seen cheering their uh, sons on at basketball games. When Steph's Warriors faced Seth's Portland Trailblazer in the 2019 Western Conference Finals, Sonia and Dale wore logos for both teams, while the Warriors swept the Trailblazers in that series before falling to the Toronto Raptors in the uh, 2019 NBA Finals. I remember that, and it was hard. You would, Everybody wanted to know who you're going to vote for, who you're going to root for. And as parents, you were just proud that... Uh, that they had the opportunity to see their children live out their dreams um, and to see them play on the highest level. Um, and I'm sure it was proud, was, uh, you know, good and made them very proud. So, you know, due to that, um, a lot that endeared the Stephens, I mean, the, the, the Curries to a lot of folk, you know. So, like I said, with, this news and I respect their privacy and their wish to remain private. Um, I get it. It's um, the mom filed for divorce, and um, it is what it is. And I wish them both nothing but the best, Steph. Senior, Wardell, Dale played for the Bucks for a while, as you uh, heard me say. Uh, I remember watching him play for the Bucks. Uh, he was a very good sharp shooter. Nothing like his son, but my God. Matter of fact, his son, Seth, probably plays more like him. His shot looks more like his dad's. Um, uh, uh, Steph Jr. is just um, a monster. <laughs> A monster, a monster. But anyway, my uh, prayers go out to the family. And again, I respect their privacy at this time. And I wish them both the best um, for the second part of their lives going forward. Because like I said, being with somebody so long, that can be difficult on so many levels. Because you feel like you grew up with them. And then it comes a time when we all must grow up and grow out and sometimes that means we have to do it by ourselves it doesn't necessarily mean that we love each other any less it just means that this love has to flow and evolve a different kind of way so good luck and with that being said if you like what you hear please like subscribe and share and i'm going to do that other story or upload that anyway about sonia and her time spent at uh, Virginia Tech. See you in the next video.